This is a video on how to use counting techniques to solve problems. For example, count how many different ways objects can be ordered, arranged, or combined. So here's an example. An ice cream shop allows customers a, a lot of choice when ordering ice cream. They can choose between five different types of ice cream, four different types of toppings, and then choose between two different types of cones. How many different ways can someone order their ice cream? So um, if you knew the types of ice cream and the different toppings, you could probably come up with some really elaborate way of, of counting them, but there is an easier way. Um, you're going to take this number here, the different types of ice cream and the different types of toppings and the two different types of cones, and you multiply them together. So it's five times four times two, and that will give you your answer. So if we come over here, this is the GD calculator. I always like to use it anytime. This is fairly easy math. Five times four is going to be 20. Uh, and then times two, but I often encourage students to just use your calculator, get used to um, practicing this. So the answer in this case would be D. All right, Rio is playing a car video game. They can choose between three different types of wheels, four different engines, seven body types, and 10 different paint jobs. How many different combinations of car can Rio make? So this is a very similar question. Um, we've got three different types of wheels, so let's put that first, and then four different types of engines, and then seven different types of body styles, and then 10 different types of paint jobs, and we're just gonna multiply them all together. So three times four, times seven times 10. Okay, enter. And we get 840 as our answer, which is one of the, the answer choices. All right, next question. Which operation below shows how many unique ways you can arrange the numbers one through four? For example, three, four, two, one would be uh, one way. So if you look at the answer choices here, they're not giving you the actual, um, they're not looking for the number of ways. They want to you to figure out the ways of setting it up or the operation. And so this one is slightly different than the one I did, uh, the previous two that we've done. So, but it's, it's very similar. You're still going to take, um, so if, if well, let's do it this way. Let's say we order these numbers in descending order, four, three, two, one. When you go to pick your first number, you have four to choose from, okay? And then, so let's say we pick, and we're done with that one. Then we have three to choose from, and then we're done with that one. Then we have two to choose from, and then you only have one number left to choose from. So you end up multiplying them all together. Four times three is 12 times two is 24, and then times one is also 24. So your answer would be 24. But if you look over here, you only want the one that is gonna get you that, which is D, which is how to set this up, okay? So let's do another one. A basketball coach has 10 players on the team. They can only play five players. How many different combinations of players can be on the court at, at the same time? All right. So again, if you if you were to kind of number each player, all right, and do something like this, um, all right. So there's our ten players. When we go and we have five different slots of players, okay. When we go to choose, our probability of choosing is out of ten. For the very first player, we can we have one out of ten that we can choose. So we're going to put ten here. And then let's say, you know, we ended up picking this guy, all right? So now we have nine left. So then nine goes here. We have a one out of nine chance. And let's say, oh, we pick this one, okay? And then so on, you now have eight to choose from. And let's say, you know, you pick that player. And then now you've got seven to choose from. And then let's say you pick this one. So now you have a total uh, of six here. So we're going to do 10 times nine times eight times seven times six. 
And that's going to tell us the, the probability of how many different ways you could have um, 10 players if you can only play five at a time. This one's slightly more advanced than what you might see on the GED, but I did it to prove to prove the point. So let's put this in the calculator over here. 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. See what we get. And you end up getting 30,240, which is D. It seems extraordinary, right? Um, but that's, that's how it works. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video if you found it valuable. And subscribe if you would like to see more videos like these. Visit the link below to passthegd.org to see more videos and learning opportunities that will help you get the highest passing score on the GED. And good luck.